Let's talk to Clive Lambert. He's an award-winning technical analyst and he set up Futures Tech quite a long time ago now and he's a very good friend of mine. Morning to you, Clive. Hello, Nick. Yeah, 18 years. Is it 18 years? Wow, we. Wow, we. <laughs> Absolutely terrifying. And there's still people out there that want to hear my uh, daily wisdom. Your so. dulcet tones. Uh. Right, <laughs> let's talk about crude oil. You've sent the charts over. Um, what are your thoughts here? My thoughts are that uh, the bulls are going to win out in the end um, because we keep holding uh, a very nice uptrend support line on this particular chart, which is protecting some more important levels below. But we have had a few weeks now of just sort of a messy, mucky, sideways chop, if you like. Um, but again, this week, the uh, uptrend line has done a job for us. And on Wednesday, uh, it was at 64.05 and the low was 64.06. Um, you know, and that was on, you know, on, on Wednesdays is always the big day uh, for crude oil with the inventories Jeez, numbers. Yep. So that did a nice job. And uh, you've, got to, you've got to think on that basis that uh, the bulls are going to prevail at some point on this chart. And once we get through uh, 66.20, we can go back to 67.30 and then 71, uh, you know, 70.85 and 71.30. But it's been, it has been a few weeks of uh, messing around, if you like. Understood. OK, but we're on the bull on crude. Let's move I on to gold so. on the daily chart. Um, obviously, lots of commentary about this 1300 level being support, a round number and the likes. Um, what are your latest thoughts? It really has 13. It's not, I'd say there's a zone of support between 1300 and 13, sort of 15 to 1320 is the, uh, is the top end of this zone of support. And that candlestick chart there, daily candle chart says to, you know, there's lots of lower shadows on our, on the candles when we get to this area, isn't there? Yeah. And what a lower shadow on a candle is, you know, giving us these hammer shaped candlesticks and saying that, yes, every time we get down to this area, we are seeing the, you know, the we're seeing the actions and the dip buyers are coming in but actually this has got to turn into something you know we keep getting up to 1340 in recent uh, weeks uh, 1365 before that 1380 if you go back a year or two and we keep failing uh, you know we, we, we're we're, we're we're struggling to uh, really get the upside going. But I think I've said it before uh, to, to on, on, uh, on this uh, piece, and I'll keep saying it, that if, we, if and when we get through 1365 to 1380, 1390 on this chart, we go to 1480 and 1590. There's some, you know, and the, the, the bigger picture charts, if we were looking at weeklies or monthlies, you'd look at it and go, yeah, that looks like it's, it's ready to go. Even an amateur chartist like yourself. That's very harsh. Oh, very harsh. that's very hard. No, it's not. It's not. It's harsh. It's harsh and unfair. You, are, you know your biscuits. OK, let's move on to silver. Um, two bespoke technicians have said to me that this is on the cusp of a big move up. Um, are you right. agreeing with that? Who was the other one? I couldn't possibly tell you. Was it the big man? Uh, no. OK, all right. Um, right. Well, silver. Yes. It, I mean, it's it's on the cusp of something. Uh, that's what Bollinger Bands tell us. Um, and Bollinger Bands are, you know, we've got them on the chart there. And when they get close together, when they tighten up, uh, that is generally a sign that something's about to happen. But the sad um, thing is, it never tells you in advance which way it's going to break out, right? It, it doesn't. No, that is a that is a good point. And sometimes you get the false break in one direction and then bang, it goes off in the other direction. Yep. So it, it can be uh, slightly fraught to use this. But it does say when those bands are getting tighter, because the bands use the volatility um, you know, it's, it's for their, uh, for their uh, construction. And so tightening Bollinger Bands says impending move and this has been a mucky chart but i think what the bollinger bands are telling us now and you know they told us a similar thing back in november of last year that get ready for a move understood On so i think you know if we if we if we want to try and extrapolate that again you know i've just said some some really bullish things about gold uh that you know i did you know they should they should sort of uh, travel together in yep. some way shape or form so maybe we're in silver what we should be looking for is the uh is a downside rejection and then a, a massive bust to the upside at um, some point OK, and finally, across all of the, um, the stuff you scan, what's your highest conviction chart at the moment, would you say? 
Um, well, I think that the Brent has behaved really well. So out of the three I've just looked at, I've, I'd be most interested in trying to get long of that one. Uh, I'm leaving equities alone today because it's uh, witching day and there's you've got all the uh, rollover mess going on. Yeah. Uh, you know, bonds look like they're trying to recover a bit. FX, as far as I'm concerned, the last week or two has been really rather mucky and messy and well left alone. Understood. On that note, Clive, lovely to talk to you. We'll talk to you same time next week. That's Have Clive a fine Lambert. weekend. And to you, my friend. Thank you. Cheers.